Yes, it they was did. one at a time. I sent one in the living room with my son, me and my baby daddy's son. One sat in the living room. Hypothetically speaking, what would you do if your bro asked you to go on a two-man with him, but like you was just there as a distraction type? Like you don't gotta do nothing. He like, hey, just be there while I do my thing. You don't gotta do nothing. Just you know what I'm saying? Be be like a placeholder type. So like, like okay, cool, let's go. And <clears throat> you think this is just gonna be like you know a calm little. He do his thing and you just chill there. So I get there, you know what I'm saying? He get he get all over his girl, you know, doing her hugs and she's saying what's up. I just say, you know, hey, give her a handshake. And uh, we, we're all sitting in the front room. I mean, hypothetically, you're all sitting in the front room. And then um, they go to their room and the girl that's there for you starts like saying, why are you sitting so far away? You oh, know, she, don't be shy. She don't bite, et cetera. And you like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even on that type of time. She pooped. It's all good. Like, we can just chill. We can, like, actually watch a movie. But we not Netflix and chilling if you get what I'm she saying. She must be unattractive. She's like, okay, that's fine. She's, she asks you, do you want a drink? And hypothetically, you say, yeah, let me get a water. And she's like, okay, bet. You want, like, a different kind of drink, too? We got, like, juice. We got other stuff. You know what I'm saying? We got special drinks. And you're like, okay, cool. Let me get like a special drink. You think she gonna make you like a smoothie or something? Well, you, know oh, you so green as hell. Yeah. <laughs> she come back with three honey packs and a bottle of Henny. Talk about let's get it, Miss. I told you, I I I did not consent to this shit. Why are you? Why are you? What are you doing? And, she, and you, she like, nah, don't be shy. It's cool. It's cool. She start opening a honey. Man, she trying to see like, what it is. Like, bro, what did you? What is you doing, bro? And then you get up and try to leave. She blocking the door and shit. So you start screaming. You like, hey, bro, let me get, get me the fuck out of here. And your bro is just, you already know what your bro doing. So he, there's nobody there to help you. What you doing in a situation like that? She trying to force feed you honey packs and honey and she not letting you leave. Say, bro, you supposed to grip her by the stomach. Cause man, she sound like a big girl. <laughs> Hey, real talk, dog. He either A, got an old lady, B, saving himself for marriage, or C, she just unattractive, or D, stories that never happened. <laughs> it's one of them four, real talk. But man, I've been in situations where like, you know, nigga got to run interference, you know what I'm saying, with my homeboys and shit like that. And like, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, bro. Most of the time, the girl that I needed to run interference with was was decent. So if it could happen, it was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Without getting into too many details in particulars and shit like that. But dude, if this really happened, oh man, Shawty was trying to, boy, what? She wanted you to stand up in it, dog. She wanted that Pennsylvania and that water park, bro. Jesus. I don't know what to tell you, man, but the three honey packs is diabolical, dog. That girl was on demon time. You probably ain't had no protection, but a girl like that probably got it, but she ain't gonna necessarily require you to use it. <laughs> hey, man, y'all gotta, hey, I don't know what to say about this one. He cheated on me. He thought it was okay for him to send me the video. Girl, he got these two friends and they twins. And my baby dad always said, if anything was to happen between us, if you don't touch them, be cool. That same night he sent the video, I did both of the two at the same time. Nasty bitch. No, they didn't run a train on me. Yes, it they was did. one at a time. I sent one in the living room with my son, me and my baby daddy's son. One sat in the living room playing with the baby while the other one was blowing my back out. When they swapped, the other one came in and he was doing missionary. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, because somebody said I was 15 years old. I'm not 15. Y'all see that ID? <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 but I'm good for it. You see the ID? A train is at the same time. It wasn't at the same time. And I know it was two, two, two different times because my son was watching Scooby Doo and already finished one episode by the time Doug came out. It sounds like yeah. this is a flex to her. Yeah. You gotta stay toxic. You gotta stay toxic. Like you gotta. You really don't. Be Yo, man, that's wild, man. Listen, bro, I don't know what's up with a lot of women. And, you know, this went on when I was that age. I ain't gonna lie. Like, a plenty of women had experiences like this. They ain't gonna tell nobody today. But guess what? I remember. I know who you are. <laughs> 
Some of y'all done got married and started families, man. I like to think that y'all done turned a leaf, but I know plenty of women that had this done. You know, niggas is downstairs playing the game while one guy up there getting getting his rocks off. He come downstairs. You up next, partner. Handle your business. You know what I mean? It happens, man. It happens, you know? And some women like to get their back blew out by multiple men in the same span of, let's say, two, three hours. They love it, man. Real talk. Some women with the shits, bro. But this here is diabolical because it was revenge. It's just certain things. I just don't know how people feel so comfortable to come to the internet with it, man. This is a story that you're not supposed to tell nobody but your closest partners. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Twins? Oh, Lord. That's crazy. We can have your name. I'm Serenity. Serenity, yes. how old are you? I'm 29. 29, yes. and what do you do? I'm in finance. I'm a financial advisor, and then I also am a personal trainer part time. Claude and Mercy, boy, y'all cool. tripping. And Tall and, and strong. Um, I'm Serena Williams has, built. Um, Hi, my name is David. I'm 34. All right. And David, why did you end up popping your balloon? I've got to hear this. Um, because you insecure. <laughs> you don't think you can deal with that. I already know. Very beautiful. You seem strong, like you beat me up. <laughs> what I told you. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. That is crazy. Okay, so is it like the energy or like no, what? He, 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 no, he, he a beta. She a person no, trainer. I mean, she, she seems yeah. much, she seems uh, built. Like I say, very beautiful, Thank but you. just uh, a little bit more uh, Man, Serena Williams. Seems. And Obi, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you know what I mean? I, she's beautiful. I like her smile. She got nice teeth. She got a nice body. So what's the she's problem, bro? I do that on my side, too. Um, but I'm not going to lie. It was just the feet. Oh, you know, wow. I, I, just, I just wasn't fucking with the shoes. You know what I mean? Like, you beautiful, but I... You can get another pair of shoes. Why is this show so superficial and corny? Shoes? I understand. I watched the movie Boomerang with Eddie Murphy. He get rid of a girl. She got ugly feet. He said the shoes. You could get a new pair of shoes. I just, you. you know, the fit just wasn't it for me. Boy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 Ain't no hey, Josh, way. Boy. Uh, just wasn't attractive. Okay. Um, just seems a little uncoordinated. I don't know. Man, nigga, boy, you got on a whole guest shirt, partner. It's that simple. Okay. And who the Take you on the basketball court with me. I don't know. You, well, hey, hey, these niggas, duh, dummy. She is no. a personal trainer built like LeBron James, more than she an athlete. Oh my god, I can hoop. I'm a good forward. Okay, bro, she uncoordinated because she don't wear heels. She used to be in the sneakers. He, he can't read a room. He can't read the room. It's so obvious she in sneakers most of her life. My defense is hard. <laughs> Look at her! Hey, right. Maybe we can put one on one of these days off. <laughs> hey, nigga, you, you dead, man. <laughs> the, the, the teeth is there. Like, every, you know, every... Hair, you, you see me? <laughs> Buddy holding a balloon, <laughs> like, please give me my oh, shot. Oh, I'm already knowing. Yes. What he uh, said? You're a gorgeous woman, you know. Uh, I can't sell less than that. It's just that, uh, you know, I like my woman with a great sense of style okay. and fashion. Uh, I would have loved, you know, something on either of your wrists. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I, I, I can't go out without a watch. <laughs> Whether I'm grabbing groceries or going out for a day. Nobody care about that. You can put a wrist on her. They Buy her a bracelet. You want her in a wrist watch. Yeah. I got to have something on my wrist. Uh, that's just me, and I like my woman to have that, too. Uh, also, uh, but definitely, I mean, you know... Uh, if I see you somewhere else, we can definitely hang out. I mean, bro, this nigga let me down on this one, partner. You're in finance. I'm in finance as well. You Shut know, the fuck, man. You into fitness? Yeah. Uh, a lot of things we have in common. But he say, bro, I think this the first video where I was so against the men, bro. Usually, ladies, this is a men centric channel. If you somehow found your way over here, welcome to Death Row. Real talk. But what I'm gonna say is this. Usually. I'm dragging most of the women through the mud because of the clips like the first one that I saw, right? This one didn't make no damn sense. Since when did niggas become so picky, bro? Like, I did not know dudes was this picky. Like, is this coordinated? Is this scripted? Did they get a script to say, hey, I don't like the fact that you ain't got nothing on your... Boys, you crazy? Man, bro, she's still fine and low maintenance. Oh, Lord and mercy, y'all niggas crazy. See, you know what it is, bro? 
and I could be wrong, but what I think it is, the fact that she not light-skinned, bro, real talk. A lot of dudes won't date a dark-skinned woman. Woman, I'm keeping it real with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't understand these. I just don't understand these men right here, bro. It, I ain't nothing wrong with that girl, bro. And she in finance, which means that she probably is a minimalist for the most part. I won't go so far and say minimalist, but what I will say is this: she probably got her shit together. I've never met someone in finance who didn't have. A grip on their finances. Me personally. Do they exist? Probably. But bro, I just don't for the Hey man, this some sassy behavior right here, partner. <laughs> if, a, if a woman tell me she get free weed. Oh, you know what it is. I, that that tells me enough. I already know what's going on. <laughs> no, I said that tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> Shawty took me out. Y'all always think a woman got for some weed and whoop the woo. Yeah, you do. That, I said, man, that ain't related to you. In any type of way, and you getting it free. A man ain't giving you shit free. Now they do got some what, what, what out I was here. Wanting something. She was saying how she got them. She work at budget, so she give calls. She like, come in and just drop me off this and that, and then I hook him up with a car. I said, you dumb. He get a car. I'll give you an ounce <laughs> if you like, gonna give me a car. Yeah, bro. It's still a you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't say women. Having sex. I said, man, crazy as hell. Man, if I'm dealing with a girl, she can find weed at 2 a.m. I'm good. I tell you everything I need to know. Everything you, you need to know, partner. You already know she with the fuck shit. Yeah, exactly. Regardless of whether you bro. helping somebody get some shit, you with the fuck. It got to be the yeah. house on fire. Yeah. Or yo, yo mama in trouble or something like that. For you to get out your sleep mm -hmm. to give somebody something for free. At 3 a.m. I but just run me a little gram outside. Man, you gonna be like, call you get the fuck off my goddamn phone, <laughs> man. You even if you got it like that, yeah, you know, yeah. man, cut goddamn, man, you don't woke me up for some prank. <laughs> <laughs> man, All right, bro, we about to try something a little different today. We finna call one of my homeboys who may or may not have done that type of shit before. Hopefully, he answered the phone. He ignorant too, y'all. That my dog. Whoa. What you say, Playboy? Cool and A. I got a hypothetical question for you, partner. Go ahead. I might have a real solid, real nigga answer for you. Talk about <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> look. First of all, don't say nothing crazy because you being recorded. And I'm on speakerphone. Yeah, this for my YouTube video, dog. I wanna, ask, I wanna ask you a question. I ain't letting niggas know who you is or nothing like that. But I just saw a video that said. If a girl getting free weed from a nigga, that mean he probably smashing. Now, I'm not saying you ever sold no shit like that. <laughs> right. But if I gave a bitch weed, I definitely... <laughs> <laughs> or, and, or, both. <laughs> and probably both. If I, gave a, if I ever gave a bitch anything for free... It ain't for free because I'm getting some on the ass. Straight like that, right? Nah, all right. I'm just making so, so, just so my audience will know if they ever hear a woman say that niggas be giving them free weed. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Ain't nothing free because if you go to church, you're paying for their Jesus. <laughs> huh? I hope, I hope your audience love that because if they heard that, they heard me say it and they know who I am. Son, I'm crying real tears in this. <laughs> So, Jesus ain't free, so nigga, everything got a cost. Oh, God. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, this was oh, a satisfactory man. interaction. I appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Fuck me, son. Later. This nigga funny. <laughs> Y'all heard it, dog. <laughs> Shaking ass? Like, we got to be real here. Listen, is this is what my future wife... So I'm sure a lot of guys will call me a simp and yep. this and the third. Lord, they like it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's some simp shit. But I just, saying. I just don't understand why y'all policing women that you don't even know and women who probably don't want to know y'all. Not only that, you're po already policing imaginary wives that you don't have. Oh, what, if, what, what, what am I supposed to? My wife was doing the Megan challenge. If you don't want to marry somebody or be with somebody who is doing the Megan Thee Stallion challenge or twerking on a pole or doing backflips in a thought. So people like you really make me mad, bro, because me too. you're not seeing the problem with this. Since we're making the Megan Thee Stallion challenge normal, let's talk about it. So since women 
getting on the internet showing cleavage twerking in panties or shorts so tight that they look like them is cool let's really get into it since we're on the internet it's not just adults on the internet it's not just adults seeing the megan and stallion challenge it's little boys and little girls so imagine what this is doing to their mind when little boys are seeing these things on the internet is making them lust after women you don't see the problem with that when little girls are seeing these things on the internet women twerking in panties is making those little girls at most times want to do those things it's preach and you want to know how i know <clears throat> how you know that brother? little kids because it's influencing grown adults well he's sitting here talking about oh you're trying to police women say it another That's way we need this is out of control men and women are out of control that's what police are for out of control <laughs> people see a ring on your finger sir you're married imagine your wife getting on here doing that you don't see the problem with that i would hope you do you wouldn't want your wife doing that you wouldn't want your daughter doing that we can't she say that we, we, we don't know that <laughs> but you know what though since i'm the bad guy in the situation i'm gonna let y'all have it because y'all minds are just out of control. I can't handle it. I'm glad he said that, man, because it's 100% facts. If adult women and men are being influenced by things they see on the internet, then it's absolutely certain that a little kid could be influenced by it because their brains are definitely more malleable than ours are. At this point, bro, like most of us know what we ain't going to do and what we are going to do. But a kid that's still developing, and it ain't no telling what they will do. They had kids doing things that would hurt them that I would say to myself, damn, when I was a child, I would have never done that. Just a few years ago, they had like the, the uh what it was something they was eating and it was really unalive in them so it's not far-fetched to say that they would do some shit like this yeah man it's crazy times we living in what is the capital of houston texas oh these gym type of questions um austin okay all right second question second question can you please name five books of the bible five what five books of the bible like verses? What, like, like five books of the Bible? I do love God, though, for real. Like, I'm just saying, no, like, he caught me at a bad time, for real. <laughs> okay. Philippines 1146. <laughs> <laughs> what does the B in HBCU stand for? HBU? HBCU. Say, bro, like I was telling y'all boys the other day, the brain is supposed to have wrinkles, grooves, and things of that nature. Her brain obviously is smooth as a bowling ball. Man, y'all be wondering why y'all kids be coming out slow, man, because y'all baby mama was slow. It ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. You, you, you got some brains, but because you got, you know, tied up, because you was thinking with the little head instead of the big head, you put your seed in her, bro. That don't mean you stupid. It just means that you was, you was under a spell at the time, because she may not be the brightest in the world, but man, she probably got that snapper. That Virginia water park is one of the best water parks out there. That's, that's what it was. And they put you in a trance and you released. It is what it is. But the man, man, and the Tunkanook. <laughs> You know, black folks come up with some crazy names for their kids, bro. But, hey, man, that's the reason why he's struggling in the fifth grade and can't even read on a first grade level. Like, that's why. It's the genes that was passed down from his mama. Lord have mercy. Y'all got to do better, fellas. I'm telling you, man. You can't just be going after women that look good, bro. They got to have something going on upstairs, man. You know what I'm saying? The mall got to be open with the lights on. You understand? Excuse me, where'd you get those glasses from? Baby, I got these from Forever 21. Baby, girl, they look good on you. Uh, what's your name? My name? Yeah. I'm Wait, are you a professor? No. What you do? <laughs> I do commercial real estate. I need me one of them. You said I need me one of them. Period. Like, what's up, baby? Girl, what's I up? just want to say, girl, your lick is giving. Look. Girl, we should go get a drink sometime. You feel me, you? You feel me? Oh, yes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me <laughs> You're not about to make me swirl. Why not? Let me. Girl, I twirl for you. Too. Okay. Oh. okay. Oh. <laughs> Give me. Oh, shit. Period. You're giving me energy. I love it here. Look, we got to hang out some time. Get some mimosas, you know. Okay. It's whatever. Okay. But yeah, for real though. Yeah. Oh, you 
you switched up on me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to do what it do. You feel me? Gonna, this man is stupid. <laughs> no. What am I dealing with right now? You dealing with the real one. You feel me? <laughs> Catching me on some hey girl, but you switching up. On yeah, because that really ain't me. You feel me? Hey, bro, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't finna act zesty to get no girl, man. It is what it is. You know, different strokes for different folks, but I'm from the old school. I ain't got, I'm somebody child too, bro. What that look like? <clears throat> But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, man. I'm going to get at y'all on the next one. Hit me up on Instagram, Debo Will. Holla at y'all on the next one. <clears throat>